Hello everyone, this is 3-1 Pockets and I'd like to welcome everyone to part number 5 of my Dell Dimensions 5150 CPU and memory update video. So, as always, let's get started. Now in our last episode we ran a little bit short for time and um, for a 5150 upgrade and um, we also do have to help out with the editing of the videos that I forgot to mention is we also have a, a GeForce 9400GT um, video controller card and um, it's made by NVIDIA uh, BFG and I'm gonna show you a little bit about that and we're gonna run a demonstration so you can see that uh, running and operating next. Now I did take the cover off the side of our 5150 so you guys can see it and, th and this is our um, GeForce video card here. Um, I'll zoom in on it a little bit so you guys can see it. Uh, anyway this um, helps. It's basically another uh, part of a, a little bit of extra memory that helps take the backup off the system while it's running the animation. And I'm going to go over to the screen and I'm going to click up one of the um, videos with with a lot of hot animation so you guys can see what happens when it kicks on. Now I'll speed up the, the video a little bit. This is our this is running in 1080 so now you can see the action. And you can hear you can see the snowblower shoots the snow about 35 to 40 feet, it's so powerful. And now you can hear the cooling fans in the video card start to operate. I'll turn down the volume a little bit on the monitor. So it, it really does take a lot of energy um, to operate and run this uh, computer. And these everything that we put in here have really made a big benefit to help edit high definition most people really don't do that um, I guess a lot of people now are starting to get into it there's a little shot on the memory that's in here there's the four gigs are up inside here and um, but we're just trying to this is we're trying to make like a helpful um, low-cost computer upgrade to be able to do this and run this type of animation and then upload it to YouTube so people get a little bit more clearer videos because in my first series with uh, the John Deere modification videos I was really disappointed in how blurry a lot of the um, the, the uh, chapters are for our videos so this made it so um, at least our upcoming videos are a lot more clear I took a high definition photo of uh, a little bit of the paperwork on the CPU along with a couple shots of the camera I work with so you guys can see that. Now we're going to close the computer down and then we're going to pull it back up and restart it and I'm going to put it into the BIOS so you can see that the um, the computer, the, the motherboard and the BIOS are able to accept this 3.8 um, this particular model of this um, CPU. Now we're going to give it a start and uh, try and flash the BIOS so we can go in and check it make sure it's running we're gonna okay now that we brought the BIOS up on the computer we can see we're gonna go down to our processor information and we can see our motherboard and BIOS are able to see and read and clock in our 3.8 gigahertz um, CPU so that's always uh, that was really important now I had um, 
in other computers in the past I would put larger CPUs in and they would show up fine in Windows but when I went to pull them up in the BIOS the BIOS could not read them properly so they caused uh, problems they would still run but they wouldn't run properly so at least we know with this one per, uh, particular chip this um, processor it matches in and, and is able to clock itself in with this system so anyways I just wanted to show you guys that now that we have our new um, 3.8 CPU processor installed in our Dell Dimensions 5150 we're going to go back to the Avatar trailer that is um, the 720p and we're going to see if we've improved on our streaming speed just by looking at this we're going to go to our bookmark and then go back to um, now we're going to click um, the 780p and then we're going to go to full screen and we're going to watch how it streams now let me click it back up so you guys can see it see if it's now it's much faster and much smoother we can see it's playing almost as fast as it's streaming in which now this is almost impossible on any of the uh, the single core um, older Pentium 4 computers so anyway we can see basically the 2M catch is another thing that's really helping this um, stream in quite well now this will vary at different times of the day especially with this um, type of internet access with uh, an air card now this is the fastest that is known for Sprint for their type of air card so we can see it, it does make a big difference with the different CPU and let me see if I can zoom in on this a little bit more see we can actually watch it stream while the video is cutting in and out this up ahead here is where it's entering and coming into the uh, the CPU so it really does make quite a difference to um, have this uh, CPU it really helps in, in this aspect of um, using the computer where you're going to be using it for animation now as far as the memory goes for this project the memory number is M E M DDR2 1 gig 5300 now as far as the game goes uh, gaming using this um, computer with this 3.8 CPU I really can't help you too much with that so if you want to post comments um, some other people might know um, more about it now I'm just going to remind everyone this has a front bus speed of 670 now we have another episode coming up where we're going to do the repair on another older Dell computer right here I, I got from my, one of my neighbors and this computer was involved in an accident with a backup generator an outdoor backup generator um, and the generator I guess whoever installed it didn't um, connect the wires properly and it did some damage to the power supply when they went to do a test on the generator it um, had a malfunction and burned up a couple things in the home um, he had it sitting around the house for years and he offered it to me a couple weeks ago so we're gonna put this um, also in a video and try and repair it now this is a dual core and it's called an XPS 400 Dell but as far as the um, this um, computer goes with our Dell Dimensions 5150 this is just about it and going to ramp up our project that's about it for our 3.8 CPU upgrade modification video and I hope you guys stay tuned in for some of our upcoming episodes. Until next time, this is 3-1-Pockets, and thanks for watching.